Finch. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and I thought about doing a doing a rhyme because I'm recording this the day after Christmas. Actually, the same day it goes up. It's the day after Christmas. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I was I was going to do a rhyme, but I couldn't really think of a, a full rhyme. But, whoa. Also, I just realized that was a hound hour with rock, uh, rock terror type, which would be pretty good. Uh, however, we have to deal with this big rock first. Because it's rude enough to run into us. Could you not, though? Like, seriously, dude. Stop. Stop it. Oh, okay, you're just gonna go for all five? Cool. Very cool of you. Hey. Fine. We have revives, I'm fairly certain. It all can handle this. Salt Cure, I believe, is our strongest option. Maybe technically not. Actually, now that I'm looking at it. Let's try it out. We haven't used it yet, so. Get salt into the scrub. Get a little bit of health from that. Nice. Yeah, because that's going to be 60 plus, well... Once we've already got the damage over time going, it's definitely not our strongest move. Because with Stab, that's going to be 60 compared to the 70 that Headbutt is. So, might as well go for Headbutt now. Oops. Ugh, this guy. This guy. Just had to go and ruin my day, huh? I'm trying to think, though. I'm trying to think. What use does a rock terror type have for a hound tower? Rock's weaknesses are water, ground, grass, and fighting, and steel. Uh, all of which are either resisted by fire or fire, a fire dark type is already weak to. I don't know if it's actually that useful. I don't think I'll pick up this Hound Hour. It's fine. We'll just, we'll just leave this one be, I think. Also, the Vigoroth. All right. Uh, you turn. You turn is a useful move. It's cool for switching and also dealing damage. I think we can get rid of Magical Leaf for it. Yeah, because we are definitely a physical attacker, so. Gatorius learns U-turn. Very cool. And we have to revive Pablo. Yeah, we have plenty of revives for now. Um, healing items. 70 HP for that. We'll just do that. And then we'll also heal all. Okay, cool. So... Right. Basically, we were just exploring. From what I remember, there is a trainer that I need to go and beat over here, I believe. Yes, because uh, Scout or Troopa got a little ahead of us and fought this one already. So we're going to go ahead and uh, deal with this one. I don't remember. Oh, it was a Flamigo. That's what it was. So Pablo should be fine here. I just noticed like three of them are... 24 and 25, and the other three are significantly lower level. Hmm. All right. Do you like studying in the classroom, or do you like adventuring in the wild? Uh, I'm definitely being in the wild more, for sure. I think that would even be true if I were, like, actually in this scenario, because I personally, I don't mind classroom learning that much. Like, it's obviously not my favorite way to learn things, but I don't mind it too much. But, I mean, if you have the option between that and 
going out and exploring an area with with Pokemon at your side. Ow. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if that would have killed without the crit, but... <sighs> well, uh, I think all we need, we, we just need to hit him, right? So, Tickles, are you fast? Uh, 54 speed. Yeah, it's your highest stat, so Tickles can probably finish it off. Feel bad for Pablo. That's twice already in this episode that he's he's died but um this ain't this ain't scarlet so we're not worried about any pokemon actually being gone for good well i can tell you definitely like pokemon yep i wouldn't have been playing this franchise for 20 some years if i didn't so yeah. I will say, I don't know that I've enjoyed watching someone play Pokemon as much as recently uh, when I started watching a certain, a certain VTuber by the name of Anna Alouette. And I think, like, I, I enjoy a lot of the clips I see of Anna when I come across them on YouTube. But I think a lot of my enjoyment is coming from the fact that she's basically never played Pokemon before or really like watched the anime or played the card game. So I, I there's I, I might have said it before, but one of my favorite basically my favorite thing to watch on YouTube is people playing games that I know and when it comes to games that I know, there aren't really any games that I know better than Pokemon. <laughs> so... Seeing, seeing someone experience Pokemon for the first time is like... basically optimal entertainment for me. <laughs> and I am... I am so glad. The playthrough I'm referring to, by the way, is the... Uh, the... Shining Pearl playthrough that she has been streaming. I don't think she's finished yet. I haven't looked ahead to see where she's at, but what? Oh, hey, LeChonk. Didn't mean to run into you, but I guess we'll fight. Yeah, I have been very much enjoying that playthrough. Watching that playthrough because yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. I do recommend if you're like me and you, you like to see people. I know there's a lot of people out there who actually really don't like to see people <laughs> play things for the first time because they get frustrated that their people are doing things suboptimally. And I, I get that. Like, I totally get that. I feel that way too a lot of the time. But <laughs> I think Seeing people be surprised by stuff that I know is coming, seeing people enjoy things, like find out that they enjoy things that I also enjoy. Those are those are those are really good feelings for me. And I, I do like that. Uh, do we have a Murkrow? I think we have a Murkrow, right? Uh, we do. OK, do not need to worry about getting one because we have one. Uh, oh, OK. More items over here. Yeah. I I <laughs> I doubt this will ever happen. But hey, Anna, if you ever see this, hey, th th thanks for doing that playthrough. It's I've quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Magic card, mineral. Okay. Yeah, and I've so actually, you know what, to spin this off into my own channel. Um, it's kind of a, something I've come to decide recently is that I kind of want to focus for this channel. I kind of want to focus on playing games that I have never played before, because in the past I played a lot of games 
that you know comfort games freak games that I've played before games that I know well and that's fun but like I said that's not necessarily what I want to watch most and if I'm making videos I would I want to make videos that I would want to watch right so going forward that's probably what you can expect to see on this channel is more less of me playing games I already know and more of me playing games that I that I don't right you know currently on the channel what in the hell is that um hello I don't even know what you are normally so the fact that you can terrestrialize is interesting I know it looks like it might be a ghost normally, but that's ground terror type? I think. Hounds. Oh my god, it's level 40. I mean, well, oh wait, we can't. We can't try to catch it while it's terrestrialized, so we have to damage it if we can. I think it's probably just going to kill us. Oh, it was caught off guard. Good, 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 good. Uh, can Pablo do enough damage here? No, not even close. Uh, but maybe it's slow? Maybe? Maybe it's slow enough that we can... Oh, stomping tantrum? No, that's definitely going to kill. Okay, got it. Um, so it's currently ground type. Stomping Tantrum is a ground type move, yes? So Watson can probably do something here without getting too hurt. Maybe it probably, judging by the name, it probably also has rock type move so this probably isn't the best idea but we're gonna try oh ally switch good that does nothing here so cool uh air slash also does nothing here <laughs> fantastic uh i'm gonna keep trying it though shadow sneak oh god that hurts i'm guessing it's a ghost rock type normally that's kind of it looked like it had a gravestone on its head so Ooh, good flinch, good flinch. Just gotta break the Terra. That's all we gotta do, and then we can start throwing balls at it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't think Gautorius will kill with the Seed Bomb, based on the damage we've been doing so far. So, Gautorius, go in. And Seed Bomb, please. Nice, okay, that should break the Terra, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now let's see if we can catch this thing. Uh, before it kills all of our Pokemon. What the hell? <laughs> let's just try it. Kinda looked like a crit catch throw. It wasn't, but kinda looked like it. Houndstone was caught. We caught it. That's amazing. I am surprised. <laughs> I did not think we were going to manage that. Oh, it's just Ghost. Ghost Dog Pokemon. A lovingly mourned Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the protuberance atop its head. Yeah, you're generally not supposed to disturb gravestones. Um, we're going we're gonna to call this one. I feel like everyone's going to call it this, but it's Scooby. This is Scooby, because, you know, uh, Scooby-Doo, Ghosts, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do we use Houndstone right now? Probably not. I don't think it will obey me. Although, I guess that rule only applies to Pokemon you get in trades, so I, I, I guess it will, but... <laughs> hey, give me cool. 
I didn't sneak up on that one like I said I would do, but it's fine. Just items everywhere. Yeah, now we now we have a now we have a ghost type dog that turns into a ground type. Oh, I should revive Pablo and Watson. They are kind of in a rough spot. Excuse me, Luxios. Do you mind not doing that? That would be great. Uh, wait, Soda Pop is 50, so that's going to be less of a waste than a Super Potion. Just for health, uh, we need a five. And then for you, we can do a regular potion. Okay. I feel like I need to maybe I need to get a few more levels in Pablo. Because I mean Pablo feels very strong offensively, but very fragile defensively, so. Uh, also Thunderframe, good TM. Okay. Um hmm, hmm. Oh, that's a TM over there. <gasps> Gumi, yes! I was hoping to run into another one of these. I do like I do like Gudra. Is that the final form? Yeah, because it's Gumi, Sligu, Gudra. I do like Gudra. That is one of my favorite things about Gen 6. I don't know why I forgot the number there for a sec. I don't think I can icy win this thing. I think it'll just die. So I'm going to struggle bug it down. Struggle bug. Oh, there's another Dreepy over there, too. There's two Dreepy, and one of them seems much larger. Or as much closer, I can't tell. Uh, so one Struggle Bug did that much. I don't think we can do it again. So let's just... Also, I just realized we caught that... <laughs> we caught that level 40 Pokemon in a Pokeball. <laughs> we didn't have, even have it paralyzed or anything. That's kind of crazy. Nice. Levels for Pablo and Diggles. Feather Dance. Uh, that lowers attack, right? Yeah, not really interested. Gumi. Gumi's horns are excellent sensory organs that cover all five of Gumi's senses. Gumi picks up on danger, on danger from the movement in the air. Okay, so um, 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 um. the reason for this name is a secret. You can't tell anyone that I named it this, but his name is Oozling. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, so there were some Dreepy around here. And I think one of them's bigger than the others. I think this one, maybe? Yeah, that looks like a smaller one. These two look normal size. I think this one's bigger. Maybe. I don't know, they're all pretty small. But we'll try this one. Uh, and you know what? We're not even gonna worry about trying to battle it because last time we did that, we killed it, so. Quick ball, please. Oh, just my favorite Pokeball, in case you were wondering. I like the design on it, and also it's just super incredibly useful under most circumstances, but apparently not this one. <laughs> we're gonna stun spore it. Stop astonishing me. It's rude. Pablo, please, please. Also, I don't know if this is true, but I wonder. I wonder if they kept the thing from 8th gen, where if your Pokemon is a lower level than the enemy Pokemon, it becomes much harder to catch that Pokemon. Ow. Do you mind? Okay, that's perfect. Hopefully, 
Okay, another Astonish won't kill. It would have killed if it crit, but uh, we're gonna swap to... Nobody here resists ghosts. We're just gonna go to lol, cause lol's beefy. Nice. I have a feeling Wall's going to evolve again. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it will. This this kind of looks like a middle stage to me. Maybe it'll become even more Minecraft. Uh, uh, let's go Great Ball. I think I mentioned before, Dreepy is a Pokemon that I have not used. So... And by the way, yes, I'm, I'm going to loosen the restrictions. Yeah, I'm just going to try to stick to Pokemon that I haven't used before. Uh, but yeah, Dreepy is one of those Pokemon that I have not used ever. So, Because, you know, there's only in one other generation of games. And I don't even know if I got to a point where I could get a Dreepy in my second playthrough. Of course, the first one was a Nuzlocke, so limited options. Nice. Okay. Okay, got it. Took a little bit, but we got it. It has a habit of biting at Cloncher, even though it doesn't feed on them. It is, this is said to be vestigial behavior, behavior from when Dreepy was alive. Aww. Wait, so what's a living Dreepy? Uh, by the way, for a name. I watched... <laughs> when I was back... Christmas Eve, I should say. Uh, I watched... Top Gun Maverick, finally. Was meaning to see it. I wasn't, like, super interested, but I was meaning to see it. Uh, and it's kind of got my head in, like, the the military space so because Dreepy is like kind of like launches things at people I'm gonna name it after the Tomahawk missile <laughs> so yeah that's that's Tomahawk ah. okay okay I think we're finally finally kind of wrapping up this area in terms of exploration which is good not because you know i don't like exploring but because uh it's been a while wait did we run into something what the that was way over there what do you mean oh i forgot to heal uh you know what? it we're faster right it's fine it's fine Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know. So part of me is getting antsy that we haven't actually completed a challenge yet. Aside from the ones prior to enrolling in the school. Oh, right. There's this trainer here that I kind of ignored. Let's fight this trainer so that our buddy Troopa can do so again later. Uh, let's put Charlie in the second position. I don't know how many double battles there are in this game, but I think having the second slot set up is a good idea. Oh, you're from Capopoco? I'm from Montana Vera. Neat. Never been there. Ooh. Interesting. That's a... I don't think I even saw that model in the school. Interesting. Okay, Shelter. So, what I know about... Cloyster, at least, is that their defense is very high, meaning that there's a special defense, and their special defense isn't. So, could terrestrialize. And technically, Stunspore gets a bonus from terrestrialization, I guess? Even though it doesn't do damage? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think just because Pablo is a special attacker, we should be able to handle this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that worked. Very good. Uh, Nackley. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not have Pablo fight a rock type. 
yeah, we'll just swap on out. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, I'm also currently using a pair of Joy-Con that my sister got me for Christmas. It's very cool. And I, I'm not having any of the problems that I was having with my other pair of Joy-Con that came with this Switch, which is to say that the right Joy-Con was disconnecting. So far, I haven't had that issue, which is good. But I mean, you know, Knight's still young. <laughs> Could still happen. I don't hope for it, but it's a shame, right? Because I really like, I really like the idea behind the Joy-Con. I like all the technologies that are in it. I like how it's been utilized in games, but I just wish they were a little more foolproof. I was representing Montevenera or Montenevera, but I still lost. Rip. Uh, yeah, and you know, normally I'd also I'd normally I'd play. Funnily enough, when I play Scarlet, I play with a pro controller, uh, but I don't want to have to. I only have one good pro controller, and I don't want to have to pair, keep pairing it between the two different switches. So for Violet, I just use the Joy-Cons, which so far is yeah, more or less fine. And it's not like Pokemon has is one of the games where, you know, Joy-Con drift is a huge issue or anything or, you know, having your controller disconnect. It's not a big deal for this game in particular, but I know it's it's enough of an, an annoyance for most people, I would think. I do wish I do wish the Joy-Cons were better made. Ah, especially for the price, because <laughs> 70 bucks for a pair. It's quite a bit. Ah, oh. Applin with a dragon terror type. I mean, Applin's already dragon type, but maybe it's normal terror type is grass? Yeah, let's go for it. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Let's go. Did I use, I don't think I used Applin in sword. So I guess this one would also qualify. All right, let's do this. Normally this thing would be four times weak to ice, but it is not given that. I'm pretty sure it gets rid of all the, uh, the terrestrializing gets rid of all types except for the Terra type. So that could actually theoretically be a bad thing. Holy sh Pablo. Oh man. Talk about your glass cannon. All right. Another icy wind will do it. Very nice. All right. Oh, uh, I don't remember how Applin evolves. I might just look that up real quick. I don't actually know if I ever found out. Yeah, we're gonna catch it. Uh, but uh, real quick, real quick, I'm gonna look it up. Don't mind me. Apple. Uh, how? How do? I mostly. Oh, okay, you have to give it an apple. Got it. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna throw our regular pokeball then. I was checking, basically I was checking to see if it was a friendship evolution, and if it was, then I was going to catch it in a luxury ball like we did with Pablo, but it is not. You just got to give it an apple, that's all. And depending on which one you give it, it evolves into something different. Nice. Ugh, apple and juice. Yeah. I don't know if I like that idea. Ah, it's fine though. It's fine. It's not. Uh, 
Applin. Applin lives inside an apple. When an Applin is separated from his apple, its body loses moisture and the Pokemon grows weak. Um, you know, I kind of, I don't know what color shiny Applin is, but I kind of hope it's like purple. Cause then it's like a, like a, I don't know if y'all have ever even heard of this, but it's like a grapple, which is a grape apple. They like crossbreed grapes and apples so that it kind of tastes like both. It's a weird thing. Uh, but what are we calling this Applin? <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Uh, uh, oh, you know what we can call it? <laughs> this is a good name. This is, do we have enough? We, I think we do. S M I T H. It's Granny Smith. <laughs> cause, cause it's a type of app. Anyway, <laughs> good job. All right, there you go, Applin, to the box with you. I don't, yeah, we're not really gonna, probably not gonna replace Gatorius at any point during this playthrough, so. Uh, is this? This is the area, well, the area where these two connect, right? Yeah, yeah, got that. yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, because we fought you already. Okay. So, now I think we'll go to that, it looks like a kind of a marsh area down there. That is where we will head next. Steel Terra Shards. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh. Go this way to get this item. Don't think there's any other way to get that. Oh, 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 it's one of these things. What the hell are you? Uh, eh. What the hell are you, Tadpole? Okay. So you're a Tadpole of some sort. I'm gonna guess that means you're water type. Doesn't affect it, okay. So it's an electric type. Oh, Tadpole like light bulb. Oh, so it's like a Zapfish. <laughs> okay. Uh, got it. So it's an electric type. It might also be water type. Let's see if Icy Wind is effective against it. Okay, normally effective, so it might just be strictly electric. Hmm. Uh, Struggle Bug will probably kill it, so let's not do that. Um, ba -ba -ba. I am running out of balls. I almost want to... I might use this one, because our, our buddy Watson has evolved. I don't know. Although Watson is, yeah, well, maybe we'll use this thing, but probably not till after the grass gym. Because Watson's flying type, which is kind of something we can use at that grass gym. It floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunderclouds are around, Tadpole will float higher off the ground. Ooh, I'm Clark. Another Tadpole. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna call ya... We're just gonna call you Zapfish. Because <laughs> that is immediately what I thought of when I heard the name Tadpole. Maybe... Hmm. Hmm. I almost also, I almost, because I think we might actually be getting a little over leveled right now because we've been doing so much exploring and fighting things and catching things. So I kind of want to uh, uh, heal Diggles for one. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can't just, if I don't want to maybe just swap out Watson for another flying type. Because, uh, yeah, Watson's evolved. I don't think Watson will evolve again. I could be wrong, but... Um... Hmm. 
the only the only other flying type we have that's not really that I haven't used before is rock. Well, I mean, obviously I was using rock earlier in the game, but in this game, but you know, in any playthroughs prior. But that does mean that we want to throw rock in the front, even if we're just gonna switch train him, because. Uh, yeah, it's he's a bit lower leveled. Four store, neat. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, hold on. I feel like I feel like we might be missing things up here. I don't know if we are actually up here exactly. Aha! Uh -huh, yep. Uh -huh, there's an item there. Get that. Um, what's in the water? Oh, that's a barboach. Let me rock. We'll probably be fine against it. Get rock on to the to the barboach. Oh, there it is. All right, go rock. Uh, it's level 20, but Rock's pretty strong, so I think no, it's the same power-wise. We'll just wing attack it then. It'll take less time than double kick. Amnesia. Okay, nice special defense. We're not worried about that. Not unless it has stored power. Oop. Snore. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Do we have a weaker attack? No, okay. So that should be fine. Um, yeah, Barboach just evolves by level, if I remember correctly. So we'll just throw a heal ball. Nice. Easy peasy. Good mon to have, especially in a game where normal Quagsire doesn't exist. Would it be called Jotonian? Would that be the term? Right, like a like a meowth. The normal form of meowth is called Cantonian meowth, right? So, what would be the normal form of or Whooper, I guess? Because this game probably doesn't have Quagsire. Uh, focus energy. We can probably take that over Copycat. Copycat is kind of unreliable. All right, Barboach. It probes muddy riverbeds with its two long whispers. A slimy film protects its body. Uh, yeah, we're gonna call you. Funnily enough, this one is. You know what? Forget... If we have the room. Ooh, okay. We we don't get to use a space here. No, 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 no. Oh, actually, uh, ooh. You know... We're gonna call you... Tammy Kench. <laughs> that is... So I was... I was trying to think various catfish characters, because there are quite a few in media. Uh, <laughs> my first thought was the great zapfish, because we just caught a zapfish, basically. And then my next thought was, was oh, Tom Kench from League of Legends. But then I noticed it's female, so I'm like, well, Tom isn't really. OK, well, Tammy, well, Tammy, Tammy Kench. Uh, but for now, we're going to bench the catch, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> Although, admittedly, I don't know that I've actually ever used Barboach or Witch Whizcash. But they are, Water Ground is a good typing, so. <laughs> we might end up using that. Oh, and by the way, I was, I think, I don't know if I said it, but um, I also meant to say that we that restriction on that kind of light restriction a soft rule we'll call it 
the soft rule on using Pokemon I haven't used before, I, I won't apply to Troopa because uh, it's it's a challenge. We're supposed to be a challenge, and we're uh, it would be it would be weird not to, to use the best Pokemon just because I used them before. That is one noted difference between the playthrough of these games that I'm doing and a normal Nuzlocke is uh oh uh oh uh oh okay cool uh and a normal Nuzlocke is that in a normal Nuzlocke part of the reason that a normal Nuzlocke is appealing is because the normal rule of you catch the first Pokemon you encounter on a route causes you to catch Pokemon that you probably wouldn't normally use and you kind of have to use those Pokemon uh, because they're the only Pokemon you get. And that's one of the enjoyable things about a Nuzlocke generally is that it, it mixes things up and makes it so you have to use Pokemon you wouldn't normally use. Uh, but that's not true in a scout lock because a scout lock you get a you get a whole lot, lot of uh, Pokemon with scout and then you can kind of just choose who you want to use. Although the number of Pokemon you can still use is limited. Which Pokemon you use isn't uh, more or less. It's only limited to what scout has scouted out. However, when it comes to scouting things out, We'll have to do more of that next time. Because, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Scout was upset for a second there. <laughs>